Yeah. Yeah, so we're back uh, from general session at 3D Experience World. We're here at the SolidWorks Live booth in the 3D Experience Playground with uh, Mike, Mark, and Jesse. Uh, Mark, uh, Mike, Mike, sorry. I, I, no, I had it. Welcome, <laughs> Mike. Um, you guys were just on general session out there in front of 5,000 enthusiastic engineers telling some pretty cool stories that everybody got to watch on the live stream. So what, what, did you, what do you think about our audience here and their enthusiasm for engineering and design. Yeah, this is, it is quite amazing. Uh, we get just as excited. So we're part of that crew. We're not <laughs> yeah. separated. Yeah, no, it is, it is quite amazing. I mean, seeing all the people and this whole hall is going to fill up now in the playground here too. So pretty yeah. big deal. My first time here seeing all this stuff. So yeah, mind blowing. Um, yeah, so you're, Mike, your background's a little bit different than like probably the typical engineers here, right? Tell the folks at home if they didn't get a chance to tune in this morning about your background because it's a little bit unique. It is, it is. I mean, my, my background is, uh, I'm an athlete. Uh, Handheld oh. mic, here you go. Oh, we don't have audio Let's here. Do that one. Oh, is it on? There we go. Check, check. Can you turn, hear it turn now? Let's see. I think we got to be on here. Are we on? It's just be the slide. All right, we're on, we're on. All right. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Uh, we'll, we'll try this way. Right. Yeah, so my story's a little bit different. My, I, my background as a professional athlete started with racing snowmobiles. Um, and, you know, my second passion in life is being in the shop creating, fabricating things. And uh, so when my injury happened in 2008 while competing on a uh, snowmobile, um, you know, I just looked back at all my experiences and problem solving, and, and uh, I decided that because I couldn't find the available equipment to get me back into action, prosthetic equipment, um, I just took it up upon myself to create my own tools to, to keep me moving forward. You're, you're the, uh, the epitome of, uh, of an innovator having to come up and solve a challenge for a very specific need in this case. And, it, you know, we deal with a lot of customers who they have the resources of an entire company to go about creating and bringing a product to market where you, you kind of looked at what are the tools I have at my disposal and how do I solve this problem, right? Yeah, I, you know, I was kind of the perfect guy for the job because <laughs> with my background in being in the shop all the time um, and being an athlete, uh, understanding body mechanics and what needs to be done, um, you know, I took all those experiences, put them together and started drawing pictures, you know, just a few months after my injury happened and got it to the point to where it worked for me, got me back on the racetrack. Um, but then I realized that, you know, I could just help so many others. And, uh, you know, at that point, I needed to figure out how to better the designs yep. and, uh, you know, bring it into 3D models. And that's where Jesse and Mark come in. Yeah. So tell us how you guys kind of came together uh, with this design here. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, first of all, I want to say thank you to Mike. I mean, hands down, my favorite customer. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's it's... When we set up a design review and he comes down, I never know what he's bringing. He's either he's like, I'm bringing the motorbike, we're going to go moto after, I'm bringing the mountain bike, and we're going mountain bike. He brought bike a gold after. and silver medal in to show us the, the actual gold medal. Yeah. That was the first for yeah. us. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he sits I mean, on the I'm table and I'm like, Olympic this. gold medal. <laughs> I'm like, you should have some security with you or something here. He's like, no, he just sets them on the table, and I'm like, can you, can you even touch it? Cool. Can I, I didn't even know if yeah. you could pick it up, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so we're talking about Mike and you know solving a problem to get back on the dirt bike and the uh, uh, snowmobile. He, he, more than solving a problem, I mean, a 10 times X game gold medalist, that's more than solving a problem. That's <laughs> solving the problem and then, and then, you know, shooting for the moon after that. And right. then obviously with the uh, Paralympics, you know, gold and silver too, it's pretty impressive. So what were some of the design things that you wanted to bring to Center for Advanced Design to improve your design? What were some of the specifics that you wanted to work with them to, you said you kind of wanted to take it to the next level with them. What, what, what were some of those things that you wanted to work with them to do? Yeah, I think that the first, the first challenge was, um, to, uh, to, was the VersaFoot that we started working on. And um, so my original designs, you know, I'm drawing them in two dimensions. And so the parts are kind of created in two dimensions with plates. Yep. and uh, um, connecting rods and, and plates between them. And uh, so the first thing that we kind of came up with was making an extruded part for the ankle frame and then also another one for the, um, for the foot frame. Okay. And uh, so everything kind of revolved around those two pieces initially. And, um, you know, we came out with the VersaFoot in 2012. Um, and part of the reason we, we went into 3D modeling was for a video production we were doing at that time, too. And, and the, the producer's like, we need three-dimensional uh, models of this so we can put it in the video. And that's kind of what fast-tracked everything from the beginning. 
And is this what like kind of led to the evolution of the like the biodat that we're kind of seeing around the entire convention here this week? Is that, or was there an iterative step that it, it took to kind of get to that point yet? I, Go ahead. I, I think you're always. I mean, Mike's always working on on this. It's never it's never just done, you know. And right. I think that's why we like working with him as an inventor so much because he's so hands on. He can come to us and give us hard numbers of what we need to achieve. So he'll, he'll come in with the part and say. I had two of these fail, I need 30% more strength out of this. Well, we know what to do with that now. We've got the tools to figure that out, and then we can come back and propose solutions for them. So. Yep, FEA and validation simulation. Yep. Yep. And you guys, are, you guys are doing everything with SolidWorks tools, right? Correct. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. So, like, when you looked at this, so that's an example, you needed to strengthen something on there. What's an example? Like, did you have, like, a failure case that you ran into, or was it, I want to push this further and harder? Well, kind of how, what drove that? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's different for each product that we we worked on together. Um, right now, we, it's been three three uh, components, the Versa foot, the Moto knee, and then a ski foot that we're working on as well. And, um, you know, some of it is is creating these 3D models so we can check clearances or range of motion, or I'll, 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 I'll tell them, like, I need this ankle to have 32 degrees range of forward motion. Mm -hmm. And then they can simulate that um, with, with uh, so all my stuff uses a Fox mountain bike shock. So we've okay. got a given amount of travel for the shock, and then they can model it around that travel and keep it in the space needed and you know trim and cut and expand and pull and shape and everything as it's needed um, and then run uh, strength analysis on it too which came into play here just fairly recently. So Mike needs the parts to be as lightweight as possible and yeah. also be as strong as possible so obviously the simulation software that we we're able to run you know validation on or optimize the design really comes in handy. Um, there's been a few, uh, yeah, few yeah. components that uh, <laughs> instead of talking with our hands we can just show yeah. Bring it right up on stage here. Yes, there you go. Yeah, so um, the the uh, the bare metal or bare aluminum parts on the ankle and right here are our new parts that we're just testing right now. They're okay. prototypes that I've been working with for a long time, but we wanted to bring them to the next level and uh, create them to uh, kind of connect the whole system together. Okay. And one of the things you talked about on stage, so you guys have used SolidWorks in the past to do this, but more recently, you guys have been looking at using some of our tools that are available on the 3D Experience platform as well. You're looking at creating a, what was the term you called for it? Your everyday wear, what did you call that? Oh, my everyday cruiser, my everyday walking leg, <laughs> Yeah. Um, which, uh, you know, works very good for everyday ambulation um, up to a, a, a slow jog. Um, but yeah, every every you know, this this takes place of everything else. But uh, yeah, we wanted to come up with a cool, unique design, a cover <laughs> yeah. for it. Yeah. And uh, so Jesse kind of took took the lead on that. I, I said I wanted it to be um, have uh, inspiration from the Moto knee design. You know, the the triangular shape and the the roller slots there. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, we we kind of like Marvel. Uh, Iron Man too. So uh, <laughs> so I'm that was fan. definitely inspiration <laughs> behind it, it as well. Iron Man's the best superhero. He's just an engineer. Yeah. That's all his problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he yeah, doesn't yeah. have superpowers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the best. That's the best. He pays for everything is what he says, right? <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. If you're here at the show, too, the, uh, the, the verse foot, if you want to see it up close, uh, it's right over in the 3D Experience uh, platform area, right in the very center of the room. Yeah. And then over the shop floor, they are making, making a lot of these parts. parts. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna. It's a really Machining. cool opportunity. Everywhere you kind of go around the show floor, you're actually going to have an opportunity kind of see this everywhere and in fact I think with what they're doing with Model Mania they're doing a, they're providing an opportunity for people to like kind of collaborate and maybe really? come up with an alternative cover for the Excellent. front of oh, this or something awesome. you should yeah, definitely go, go check yeah, that out. Yeah we need to get over there I didn't so. know that. Yeah how cool is that we walked right in there. yesterday and uh, we see my leg being in simulation on some of the screens over there and on the back corner we got uh, CNC machines cutting parts I'm like this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. everywhere. It is very cool. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the, the coolest things about this is uh, you're talking about uh, riding in motocross and kind of designing a foot to help you. That actually just, when I look at this, I'm like, this looks like part of what I would expect on a motocross bike itself. Like, it just seems so natural. To, uh, kind of the design almost feels like it's uh, form follow, or art follows function, I should say, more than form follows function. So. Yeah, it's uh, you know that's that's how I looked at it. I, I needed to create suspension for my legs and my uh, experience as a as a racer. Like I was always in tune with suspension components. Yeah. So when when this situation happened to me, I'm like, 
I need suspension for my legs so I can jump my motocross bike again. Yeah. And so that's what it was, you know, kind of based on or around similar si similarities to it. I think one of the nice parts too is that if you do get into a, a wreck, if, mountain biking or something like that, there's some of the components you can just peel off, you know, unbolt them and then bolt the ones back on. I take get, a wreck, I break my leg, I can go grab the spare out of the trailer and get back <laughs> at it. <laughs> <laughs> Definite uh, um, Luckily positive. Luckily you wreck though, right? <laughs> so that, maybe, maybe, maybe there's a few advantages here it, there, right? Yeah, you got, you got to take what you can get. All right. Well, I want to thank all of you for joining us here at SolidWorks Live today. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the show. I know our engineers are excited to see this product, see how the different tools on the 3D Experience platform are being leveraged to highlight the capabilities in the shop floor. Do you guys have anything you're going to go do and see while you're here? The Mania now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. yeah for sure. Media. We're checking that. That's where we're yeah. going All right. next. That yeah. sounds good. Well, thanks so much for joining us here. For those tuning in at home, we're going to be right back in just a few moments uh, with uh, Charles Schultz. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, thanks so much.